Hi everyone, my name is Goran Lundqvist and I'm a ServiceNow advocate and you will usually find me on the ServiceNow community I'm trying to answer the questions there or perhaps writing a blog post when I get the time over to do it. This time I was going to write a post about how to use the Google recapture in a service portal widget but after I wrote a few lines I noticed that it will be very many lines so I decided to try to do a video demo instead. So uh, this is my first time, so bear with me and let's see how it goes. So I will log into my ServiceNow personal dev to show you and let's go to the Google recapture so you can see that. Here you got all the information how to set up the Google recapture. I will hit the resources link first and under guides you got everything you need. What you need to do first to be able to use the Google Capture is to register your site to sign up for the AP key pair. There where you have a secret key and a site key. And the site key is the one that you put in the widgets. And the secret key is the one that you will keep on the server so no one notices it. You can see it. Um, you get a display. You pretty much get the whole text here, what you want to put and under support what I will be using you get a, a test key test site key and a test secret key you can use and that is one I will use now for this demo uh, the negative part is that we get a graphical recapture looking like this with this nice red text you will not have that if you use your real Google recapture so the first time we will do is go into the widget let me see here. And let's um, let's create a widget into the service portal. Widget creator. And what I haven't told you is that I have been doing a table that I call wish list. Since it's getting close to Christmas, I made a table where you can put in your name and you, what you wishes to have for Christmas present. So let's have a widget that will be creating a form to add those little lists of wishes. So let's call it for uh, all the imagination uh, wishing list. Oh, create me widget, stupid. My wrong. <laughs> List. Now, since this is a form, I will add a preview, so we get the preview as well. Now, if we go back to the Google Capture site, and under the display widgets, you can see that they would like to fetch this little thing. Now, we will use the dependency that our, you can use on widgets instead instead of putting this code in the HTML code. So let's go back to the widget. Find the widget we just created, wishing list. It's kind of sad that you can't find the related list down here dependency inside of this, or at least I haven't found a way to find it. So let's go back. We are in the widget wishing list that we just created. We want to create a new dependency, and we call it Google Recap. Yeah. Uh, I'll call my name on YouTube as well, so I know which one is it is. Ah, let's keep it recapped and save. Now we will need to add the URL we got here. So we take this URL, copy it, go back here, new. We call this one as well. The source is a URL. Paste it and submit. By doing this, we will be able to use some of the methods that the Geary Capture have done for us that are inside this IP. So, that's about it. Let's see this back to the, the little template. The first thing we'll do 
is to go to the template and create the form. So let's do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try to stop me from uh, seeing what I code. This is just some straight up code I've taken from the internet, nothing special. Have a name. Let's put an uh, input there. Input as equals home Let's take away and this is where we want the information to get to. Get into this node. One and let's make another field. Call that wish. I wish for something nice, and we would like to put that into that variable. Now, and we would like to have a little button press when we're done. Okay. And when we click on this, we would like something to happen. Uh, on that one. I've made this uh, before, but I just want to beat. Let me see. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I think that should be it. Let me save it. And there we got it. So now we pretty much got it like it looks without the Google recapture. Now, if we will go back to display, you can see that pretty much the thing that we will need to do is take the Google recapture code, which we would like it. Let's put it down there. And here, you put in your site key. But since we're using the the open site key, taking this one, there we go. And we're replacing it like that. And voila, we got the we got the look at least. Let's wait for two seconds. I have my little son calling for me. So rat, it's getting a little bit later, so I need to help my little kid with something. Now, let's see. We have made it, so it looks like it should. So let's go back to the to the client script instead. So what we got here. Now we need to make the function that we call for here. Okay. Do 
English. Now, within Google, use, I want to, when you press the I'm not a robot, it will generate a response that we need to send to Google to get it verified. But to get that into a variable, you just type like this. Google recapture. Now, first we would like to see if the user has checked the button before it presses the add wish. And that we can do with if. If this one is empty, meaning they haven't checked that one, we don't want to do anything. Or rather, we will just tell the user. Uh, let's see here. We use this util add. Oh, sorry. No, like that. Add error message. Let's write. Please. And since you said we're going to use the SPU tool, we need to add it up here as well. Now, let's say that it has been checked. Now, we want to tell the server, go to, to Google and ask to see that this is not a bot or something before we like to post the data. So then we will use the c.server.get oh, sorry, the wrong one and just to make sure that if you have a more complex script we will send different actions to the server let's put in a special we call add wish I would like to send with that the name data.name, which we get over here. Uh, we might put the wish. What I haven't done here is perhaps check so they have filled in, so this just feels mandatory, but that's something you can do if you want. And we got the wish. And we also like to send with a variable called Google, where we send with the response. That's good. Then, when we get the information back from the server, we're going to do a function, response. And then we're going to check if the response from Google was uh, true or false. So the success was true or false. So let's response dot data and this will make a bit more sense when you look at the, the server part as well so if it's true we will we will clear clear the variables in here since the posting of the data is in the server script and we will like we like to reset the recapture, otherwise it will be still be checked and we only clear, clear fields. So, we've done that. If it's not true, we don't really have to do anything, but since it, that will pretty much mean it's a bot, but let's we we'll just for fun of it. Let's 
So, this pretty much takes care of the whole client side of the part. Now, what we'll do is that we will go to the, the server side and create how we'll handle it. So, let's start. First, we will check if there is an input. And since we can have many inputs, let's check the input action equals add which would be the one we put here. So, if that is the action that's coming into the server, we want to make a new REST message. And we haven't created a REST message yet, so let's go do that. We go to back here. Rest message. Would like to create one. Then we take a new one. Then let's call this for uh, Google. Let's save that for later. And the endpoint you can find here. Let me see where it was. I should have looked at this before, but I got it here. It's in the guides. I don't want you hanging because we try and find the standpoint we were looking for at the Google Recapture. So let's save it. And now, Google Recapture, I want us to use the get method. So let's go into that one. Now, what Google wants is to have two, two parameters with it. Just want the secret key. And here I will use the secret key. And it will also like to have the response that the client script got from here and send through the variable Google. So what we need to go and do is a new parameter called secret. And since this is on the server, the user can never see what this value is. There we go. And then we'll take a a variable that we call response, and since that is going to be dynamic, we will have to come on. There you go. We're calling for a variable called uh, resp. You can see that we will be using this in the server script later. Let just put that all. Up and save it. So now we have made a REST message called Google Recapture that we're going to be calling from the client script, oh, server script. So let's go back here. Want to make new REST metrics to repatch them, and we want to use the get method. Now we want to set the string parameter to be called resp and set string parameter. And input to since that's the variable for the client ship coming in, input.google. And we'll make a variable response and send away the rest message. Execute. And we put some only cap Data for character equals make a JSON over it. Mm -hmm. 
So we get the response in the night to the recovery capture. Then on the server, we'll make the check if it doesn't recapture that. Yes. If that's true, that Google has said this is a good guy, you can go on with it. Like, make the wish come true, or at least send Santa. I'm using the, the new record instead of the initialize because the new record, if, if my values or fields would have a default value, the new record uses the default value. If you initialize, it will not use the default values. Which now, because you didn't know about it. Uh, and the U name should be the input button name, and the new wish. This is pretty much it. It shouldn't be more than this. So let's uh, save it. And let's try it out. And how do we try it? We need to put it on a page. And this is where I always click on the wrong things. Let's hope for this page editor. Let's make a new page. Can... I always do like this when I can't find it. Get to portal. Oh, my wrong. I shouldn't be going this way. It's the designer I would like to have. So, test. Submit. Yes, let's just put up with it. Oh, was one. <laughs> let's take one like that. And let's find our widget. Wishing list. Do you have it? Try it without checking it. Let's check it. Let's hope we don't get all the pictures we need to click on. I'm not sure if this is going to work on a preview. Kind of interesting. It's loading a lot. Let's back so you don't have to sit and wait. And we'll go back to the portal. Let it, uh, let me take the index page instead just to make you see it. There is a lot of tests, but it won't matter. We'll still see the effect. Yeah. And let's go to the service point. And there you go. Test, test, check the box. I wish. And you see when it's made, if I write something, and press that. For show, my name is Laura Lankwist, and I wish for a make my first YouTube Yeah, I'm not a robot. And my wish. So if we go back here, let's go to the you. I remember. I forgot my name. Where is it? The table was named your wish list. Right. Uh, 
And here we got my little witch. So this is been my first video for how to make a guru caption. If you got any questions, just post it here or find me on the community or LinkedIn or wherever you can find me. And uh, I'll see you around. Thanks for watching.